morning guys it is currently four focus focus 6 30 in the morning it is time to go and have a shower and then get this day on the road i am looking incredible right now i am so tired this morning i'm really not sure why actually I think I was asleep by 11.30 and my alarm went off at 6 but I am struggling to keep my eyes open over here well I don't know about you guys but I think I should just go out and start my day like this this is real life guys my porridge just exploded everywhere I just had to take it out of the microwave gonna have to do some cleaning up I just left it for to go and put something in my room and this happened. It's fine. It's fine. And that's the bowls all washed up. Most of it spooned back in and the porridge back in the microwave. Yup, this morning is off to a fantastic start. And a few minutes later than I was planning, breakfast is ready. Let's eat up and then it'll be time to go to campus and do some work. It's so weird watching the Valentina's videos now after having met her. It definitely makes me appreciate them a lot more because I know that this is the way both Valentina and Marie actually are in real life. So it is now about 20 past eight and it's time to head up to campus. I want to do like an hour of studying or so before my lecture at 10. I'm still super tired, no idea why, but you can either sit around feeling tired and sorry for yourself, or you can go and smash out your day and know that you'll have earned your bed in the evening. Okay. Time to head to class. Fun, fun, fun. to one and I just got back from my class it was a three hour seminar for the module Erasmus and Grotius to humanist scholars this week we were focusing on Erasmus who was alive in the 1500s and in particular his uh, rewriting or and retranslating of the New Testament and how that was um, accepted and reacted to by contemporary society so yes, fitness is really important to me, as is health, but that isn't my whole life. My academics and doing well at university is something that really matters to me. And I'm someone who cares about doing consistently well, really regardless of whether the mark actually counts towards our final grade or not. For those of you who might not be regular watchers of my videos, I'm a third year history and international relations student. Currently, I am on a year abroad in the Netherlands. So don't let anyone tell you that you can't be healthy and be a student, that you don't have time to cook and exercise and have a social life and do well in class because it simply isn't true. If you want it, you can do it. I'm not gonna lie and say to you it will be easy. I didn't really particularly want to get up at 6 a.m. this morning. But the fact is, although it might sound harsh, you will find the time for the things that you really care about and in the end of the day you're the only one who is in control of your life don't blame other people or blame your circumstances i understand that sometimes things are difficult and i'd be lying if i said sometimes i didn't find things difficult but you have to sit down and be honest with yourself about your performance, your goals, and what you really want. You know, what you want from life isn't gonna be the same for everyone. Not everyone necessarily 
wants to pursue a more academic path. Not everyone wants to run a marathon. You don't need to do those things in order to be a successful person. But if you take anything from this video, it's I want you to go away and think about what you would like your life to be. What are the three things that if you accomplished, you would deem yourself to be successful? That doesn't have to be in 20 years time, but just in the foreseeable future. And every day, picture those goals. Think about how much you want them. And I promise you that when you start visualizing, thinking, and really working for your goals, you'll be amazed at the things that you can achieve. So I'm just gonna go off and have a bit of kind of light-hearted relief from the university world and meet my friend for lunch. I had never been to this place before, so I have no idea what it'll be like, but it was one of my places on my list that I wanted to try before I left. I've been doing things on my list, but it's actually still getting longer because I spend so much time on Instagram and I keep seeing places and going, oh, that looks cute. And then there's places I want to go back to again because I like them so much. It's a hard life, guys. It is a hard life. But you know, someone's got to try out all these cafes and TripAdvisor review them. to run it. So it is now 10 to 9. I just got back from run training. I'm gonna have my post-workout pasta or meal prep so I don't need to worry and of course a coffee so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up here I hope I've shown you guys that it is possible to balance everything and be a student I've done academics and revision today I've met a friend for lunch I've done my running training and now it's 10 to 9 and I'm gonna have my dinner, watch some YouTube, and then get a nice early night for bed. Although I say that, that rarely happens. But that's something I'm working on, so ta-ta for now. <laughs>